welcome back students today we are going to study about the antibody antibodies are the substances which produced by our body against the antigens let's see what is antibody antibodies are also called as immunoglobulins and these antibodies are mainly made of of proteins that protect you when an unwanted substance enter in your body and these unwanted substances are antigen and antigen enter our body it is a foreign substance and evoke our immune response and our immune response is activated then uh, the large amount of antibodies are produced against that antigen so these antibodies are help in eliminating that antigen or uh, bacterial virus infection from our body let's see the structure of immunoglobulin and these domains immunoglobulins are mainly made up of various domains and these domains are made are uh, made up of four structural domain uh, having the two heavy chain and two light chain and also contains the variable region and constant region so uh, in uh, this language we cannot understand it easily in schematic diagram we can understand it easily so let's see the schematic diagram of the uh, antibody so antibody consists of the constant domain variable domain and two uh, four uh, two chain two heavy chain these are the two heavy chain and these are the light chain the head of uh, every antibody is amino having an amino group and tail having the carboxyl group tail having the carboxyl group the antibody is having the light uh, the antibody have two regions heavy and light chain the light chain consists of 220 amino acid or it is made up of 220 amino acid one light chain is made up of 110 amino acid by combining both these are made up of 220 amino acid remember student and the heavy chain is made up of 330 or in some books it is 420 amino acid and uh, it varies according to the immunoglobulins so uh, the immunoglobulin structure is very simple in nature that this fragment this this part is called as the fab antigen binding fragment and this is called as the fc fc or the crystallizable fragment so what is the function of these two we are going to study in the uh, next slides but uh, before going to that uh, the an antibody structure is made up of the hinge region this is the hinge region which is also co you called as the uh, join uh, joining inter part of these two chains and this hinge region is mainly uh, consist of the proline amino acid high in proline amino acid and made up of the hydrogen sulfide bonds h s h s h these bonds are there or disulfide bonds are there remember student the hinge region is mainly consist of the disulfide bond and this disulfide bond Uh, make an intact structure of this antibody this y shape is intact by the hinge uh, by the disulfide bond and this disulfide bond make the hinge region this is the hinge region this is the fab region antigen binding fragment and this is the hinge region it is like our hand the wrist is the hinge region and this like our wrist move our wrist help in movement of our hand so this hinge region help antibody to move in a, any direction and help in binding to the antigens so in the uh, uh, in the other diagram you can see these are the different type of antigen and this these antigens are bind by the antibodies and when the antigen antibody complex is formed the various pathways have been activated and this pathway we you already know like the uh, classical pathway alternate pathway and this pathway end product is the lysis of the antigen or the lysis of the infectious material so uh, that's not our topic of interest to, we are going to see about the antibody so uh, this region this region is also called as paratope because it is the uh, antigen binding region of the antibody which is called as paratope and and on and uh, and on and, uh, and on and on the antigen it is called as epitope epitope is the region where antibody bind on antigen and on uh, in uh, antibody it is called as the paratope so remember student 
paratop and epitop these are the two dif different terms let's see about the antigen binding site or fab ring the existence of two identical antibody binding sites allow antibody molecule to bind strongly to a multivalent antigen and these repeating sites such as polysaccharide in bacterial cell walls or other sites of some different bacteria as well as to form an antibody complexes under large antibody complexes and this i earlier explained that the region of the antibody the region which is the first part of the antibody this is the fab region this is the fab region and this fab region is mainly help in the binding of antigen which is a paratopic region and help in making the antigen antibody complex you you have only you have to only remember this one terminology about that it help in forming the antigen antibody complex and when antigen antibody complex is formed it help in activating the other parts of the immune system so only this part you have to remember and it is uh, helpful you to clear that basic concept of the antibody the next is the fc region or the crystallizable fragment this fc region uh, is the trunk of the y shape and it is composed of the constant domain as i mentioned in the diagram it is on the constant domain so it is mainly made up of the constant domains of the heavy chain and fc region is mainly present on heavy chain remember student fc region mainly present on the heavy chains and it is a role in modulating the immune cell activity and it is where the effector molecule bind to trigger various effect of the antibody so you, the, but the question remains what is effector molecules or effector cells so effector cells are the macrophages or natural killer cell and these uh, macrophages or natural killer cell bind to the fc region of the antibody and when these macrophages and uh, natural killer cell bind to the antibodies uh, and in the antibody antigen complex antigen antibody complex they trigger the complement system and we all know that when the complement system is triggered it is a step wise process in which uh, the lysis of the uh, antigen is there or the lysis of the molecule which is bind to there so these uh, effector cells are play a very important role in the immune system and this effector cell bind to the fc region remember student bind to the fc region and help in activating the classical and constant pathway classical complement pathway for the other immune activities so uh, we are going to see in this slide about the anatomy of light chain and heavy chain so as i earlier mentioned light chain is made up of 220 amino acid that one uh, chain is um, 100 to 110 amino acid and it is mainly located at the n terminal or the amino terminal and the amino acid varies among the antibodies it varies in immunoglobulin g a d uh, there is a variation of amino acid is there and the remaining 110 amino acid are located on the c terminal of the carboxyl terminal of the light chain so you have to only remember the number of amino acid and where the location is there so both are located on the um, both are located on different constant and light and their number vary 100 or 110 only this thing you have to remember next is the heavy chain heavy chain uh, is uh, made up of 440 amino acid or 330 amino acid the number varies so one chain may contain 220 amino acid or uh, different in number so you have to remember that the heavy chain is made up of two, one heavy chain is made up of 220 amino acid and two heavy chain is made up of 440 amino acid and these amino acids the remaining amino acid sequences somehow they are constant or they vary in the F, um, igm iga igd ige or igg and this variation is based on the immunoglobulin structure because different immunoglobulin have different structure like igg is a monovalent but uh, iga is a divalent and ig uh, e is also monovalent so the structural variation affect the cons uh, constra concentration of amino acid in the heavy chain or light chain so 
the last point is the hinge region as i earlier mentioned that the hinge region is the region of the amino acid, uh, of the antibody this is the hinge region and this hinge region uh, uh, in uh, uh, varies in every immunoglobulin like in gamma alpha beta delta uh, alpha delta all these they varies and this uh, hinge region is a uh, rich in proline residues it is a uh, very rich in proline residue and it is a flexible in nature it is this this in this imagine this is a hinge region so it is flexible like our wrist and it is very helpful in attaching the an, uh, antigen attaching uh, help an antibody to attach to the antigen so what are the at last we are going to see about the what is the characteristics of antibodies the characteristics of antibody is that these antibody are very specific to specific antigen like that antibodies are antigen specific and bind to foreign molecule to the host and they are produced by the activated b cell this is a very important point student that these ant uh, antibodies are produced by the activated b cell so how b cells are activated the t helper cell activate the b cell and then b cell produce in a large amount the immunoglobulin and the first immunoglobulin produces igg so igg is first immunoglobulin produced by anti, uh, b cell and it is in a very high amount and then other uh, immunoglobulins are present uh, produced according to the immune response and uh, that's all with the, our uh, immunoglobulin or antibody topic if you have any doubt or difficulty comment in the comment box and thank you for watching like and subscribe